What's good, boys? Guess what? We're starting the day off not at the house. We're gonna go straight into the goodies. Because Daddy's gotta go do some raiding. And, uh, it isn't going to be fun. You know what? We're already gonna have an interruption. I'm gonna be smart about this. And I'm actually gonna go do some health meads. Because we're gonna go raid fueling villages. And, uh, there's too many of them to leave it to chance. And I don't feel like having to... Yeah, having to walk all the way back there. So I'm gonna get like a portal and maybe some supplies for a FOB. But uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go down to like this area. And that is kind of, of course we're gonna be in headwind for a minute, but that is okay. Oh, how far we've come since the first time we killed a gray dwarf. And we're, we're just gonna YOLO swag through the plains here because I mean, we, we've conquered it basically. Only thing we haven't done yet is the boss, but you know, we're we're a minute from that. I got to get the armor and stuff, but we'll get a lot done this episode, providing we can find a fueling camp or two. Yeah, so if you guys actually watched the video that I released uh, for this one, the one about playing on the server uh, with my brothers, we kind of did what I'm doing right now. We were actually behind where we are now, but we're definitely ahead of this uh, playthrough at this moment, but. Um, the fueling camps. There were two that we got. One with me and uh, the boy Jerome, and then or Jeremy, whichever one you want. And then the other one we did with me and my two brothers uh, at the later night. They were both decently tough. Come here. Oh, it's already off to a good start. I may just have to let that one go, honestly. The main thing for me right now is to set up a little hub. That, that just... That way I can just get back out here when needed. So really we're just kind of scouting. Uh, the weather is not not premium for this. This is actually the worst kind of weather you can have on um, this type of mission that I'm on. But I guess it is what it is. Yeah, but we're just going to do this side over here. Surely it's not as long as the other side. The other side's super long. You know, it feels like it'd be a good little area for a fueling village. Okay, so here's the strat. Number one... Put a mark on it. Number two, figure out the best area of approach because it's so foggy out that I can't see them coming. And if there's, you know, 10 or 12 of them out here, try to kill me, it's it's over for me. All right, let's test our luck and see if we can get frisky, shall we? Ha, there he is. Yeah, I'm gonna need that stamina regen. Oh God, there's a brood in there too. This is why we bring arrows. So I'm going to try to figure out the best way to go about this, because fighting all of them at once is suicide. Uh, shamans are annoying. And also very dangerous. Hopefully we can just pull just this guy, because otherwise these guys get a little handsy. Yeah, you will need to be able to do that. So if you can parry them, they're easy to kill. They're like a lox. You know what's weird is that the little ones are more annoying than the big ones. The spear guys, those, you need to watch out for those dudes. They will level you. A two-star spear guy will put, he put you in a put you in a rectangle, my guy. A two-star spear guy, let me talk about that. We were playing the other night on the server video, and I don't remember if I left it in or not, but there was a point where a two-star spear guy, fueling, Hit my hit one of my brothers and it did 99 damage. Not good. Oh, there is a shaman. Okay. Shamans. Annoying, but really not strong. If you can get to them before they cast their shield, you can do really good damage to them. Shamans will put up a shield that you can't you can't damage them through and shoot like AoE fireball looking things at you. And those hurt really bad. But if you break their shield, they're really, really weak. Yeah, see, that's annoying. And she'll just sit there and cast that. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's it's so painful and annoying. Three fuelings, regular, plus a brute. Oh no, that's four fuelings and a brute. At this point, I'm just playing the regen game, honestly. See, it gets to the point where it's so ridiculous how much damage. Like, that fueling did, like, 60-something damage to me with one spear. Oh, I guess I did die. I'll be damned. <sighs> As I live and breathe. I don't even remember... I don't even know what killed me, personally. 
I was looking at something else, but clearly it must have been some great powerful force. Oh, they're patrolling now. You gotta love it. You have to. Is that two brutes I see? I hope so. I'm actually gonna do this. <laughs> I'll be right back over here because I can't hold anything and it's kind of pointless for me to finish out the camp and have to run back again anyway. So I'm just going to take all this loot back to big boy base and I'll meet you guys back over at the fueling camp. And now there's not a ranged one so I can do this. This guy's easy enough to just run away from. And just like that, no more fueling. See, now that's, that's a more agreeable. I can get along with that. Go ahead and gather a knee. Ooh, flax, thank God. All right, now we're moving, baby. It's weird, I just got like a huge burst of energy because now I'm not having to be stuck in progress purgatory. And they got a little stack of barley. That means we got a, we getting decent haul, man. This wasn't even a big fueling camp either. It's a tiny one. All right, let me go and clean up the edges of this camp too because there is a lot of just remains scattered about. We'll go ahead and go exploring, I say with air quotes, but we probably won't attack another village until I get another uh, opening. Until I go and take this stuff back and get more of an opening. God only really knows what we're gonna find. We will find another fueling camp. Oh, it's a holy shit, this one's massive. Okay, so there's a fueling camp there. So we're faced with a dilemma. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna use the standard Dino process. I am going to move the boat around uh, to the other shore, so to like over here, or like right here, uh, because it, it'll be hell having to walk back if if we die, which we more than likely will, but it is what it is. What I am going to do um, in complete just roundabout loop, I am going to go plant that barley real fast just so I can get it growing. Oh man, look at that. Yeah. You guys really just don't think very well, do you? I've got the high ground, Anakin. What will you do? I wouldn't be chuckling. It looks like you're dead, son. Okay. We have made it back. I went ahead and built a bridge before we left last time. That way it's a little easier for us to get across. Because the wet debuff do be making us. It do be making us kind of slow. And I put one here just in case the water comes up during like a storm. But typically it's not that big of a deal. It almost seems as if... It's too big to do by myself, but we don't really have a choice. So I'm gonna equip my shoddy arrow. Well, let's see what the see what the pull is like. All right, making decent progress so far. Let's kill this shaman, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. We getting groovy, baby. 81 damage. Holy crap! Let me drink some of that healing mimosa right there real quick. Really didn't mean to get the whole freaking city involved in this one matter. No. Bad boy. I don't actually know how many of these dudes are left. It seems like this never ending. <sighs> It's gonna be a long day. Thank God, okay. Ugh. Oh look, and there's still more to do. These camps are nuts, dude. How many damn goblins can there be? I'm being hunted? Why? Why? No! Why am I being hunted? This isn't even my base! What the hell? Why in God's name is this happening right now? This already happened once today. And I, like, understood it because I was at my base. But this isn't even my base. Why in God's name would this be happening right now? So, as we saw, we finished out the old Camperoonie. Finally. And he died again. But, you know, the loot is ours and that's what counts at the end of the day. So the first thing we got to do, kill the other camp. Alright, fellas, so the plans do be changing a little bit. I'm gonna gather the barley and stuff while we're out here. Um... Simply because it's right here, and I'm gonna take this stuff back with us anyway. And then we're gonna go clean out that fortress up there, because it'll have some goodies for us. And that's ultimately what we need, is all the goodies. I'm actually gonna go now and collect all of the black metal and stuff from the bodies, as there was quite a bit of it. There's a big chunk of them out here too, 
Or I killed a one star brute, I think. Yeah, there it is. So we have 15 now. So we'll see how much we get from this. Okay. Got a lot. And I mean, we're still missing stuff. Honestly, it's kind of crazy how much stuff we got. But um, you, you saw that I got a little upset. Um, the wolves decided to attack as well. Uh, that was the wolf mount. That was the wolf war over here. Uh, while I was fighting fuelings. And uh, I was not a very happy boy. As you can see, I killed an awful lot of wolves. But it all worked out in the end, I guess. Or, you know, so they say. Yeah, we're gonna have to use these chests for just basic storage. I mean, honestly, it's kind of insane how much stuff we got. What may end up happening is me bringing the portal up here to uh, teleport all the goodies out, because there's just so much of them, right? Like, there was so much stuff, and there still is so much stuff that has to be collected. Uh, we'll get that last. It's actually alarming. We got everything else. Okay, so this is a totem of some sort. What does it say? Yaglith. I do believe that is the last boss, so I guess we're collecting totems now. Just fine with me. I ain't worried about it all. So we got a decent haul. Looks like we got about 85 black metal. I'm gonna go ahead and gather all the uh, meat and pelt and stuff since, well, we're still out here and we killed it. May as well get it. Am I really gonna miss this opportunity for easy feathers? Because of stamina? Eh? I almost said that's everything, but clearly it's not. Seagull go block! Um, there's still stuff over there. Oh my god, and I missed Pelt. They ended up adding wolves and I think fuelings. Is it fuelings? I actually don't remember what they added, but they added something alongside the wolf raid. And I, I, for personally, I think the wolves raiding me in the plains is a bit ridiculous, but you know, whatever. If it makes them happy, then hallelujah. I think I'm actually just going to bring the FOB up a little bit. I don't know. I know for sure I've got to take all this stuff back to the base anyway, so that might be how I handle it. I'm not sure. So I'm going to take all this junk back to the old homestead, get my rested buff, and put away everything I don't need, because we're going to be hauling stuff for a good minute, believe it or not. We'll go and uh, we'll go and kick some fueling tail real quick and pick up random loot that I left out in the abyss. I don't know if they can make their way down here, but we'll find out. See how good their mesh colliders are. Not very good. I mean, as I figured, I figured it'd set off a few alarms, but... It's alright, we will take care of them. I don't know if maybe I can... Oh, I can get off some pot shots. Look at that. How's it going, dude? Shouldn't have made your base so small, homie. Oh, man. You hate to see it. Oh, another totem, by the way. Sweet. Alright, let's go back and get our loot, fellas. Okay, yeah, it's all, it's all coming together. We got us a beautiful field of flax and of barley that just happened to be done. All right, so we can harvest all this madness. There is an easier way to do this. There's a tool, the iron sledge. It is not the iron mace. It is a two-handed sledge that does AoE damage. And uh, if you just like walk up between these crops and hit it, it'll harvest them without destroying them, so feel free to use that knowledge to uh, whatever ends you need. But uh, for us, we're just going to walk around and harvest it like regular homo sapiens. Aww. Party foul, take a shot. Look at that. That looks good. We have, oh, wow. We have 73 barley left over. Good night, brother. That is absolute madness. Crazy town stuff. I'm gonna gather this madness. This is the secret, baby. With this flax, we'll be able to make a lot of stuff, actually. It's kind of insane. But uh, I'm gonna gather all this madness up and replant. And then we're gonna go and explore our options. Because I think we can start upgrading to regular, or not regular, but the in-tier armor. Get some in-tier weaponry and whatnot. So I'm gonna gather all this madness up, be done with fueling camps for the day. And we're going to go ahead and put in that last bit of infrastructure needed for the end game. So I'm going to replant this madness, and I'll see you guys in a few. And we've got 73 barley and 40 flax. So with that amount of flax, we can get started building the last tier of armor needed. And uh, the swords and whatnot. So we'll have the fabric or whatever we needed. Uh, what we got to do now is kind of expand this out 
to put the windmill out here, but I'll just do that real quick. It won't take a time. It won't take much time at all. We got all the stone, so. I have an interesting thing for you guys to see. So we got the windmill down just now. Um, so I want you to see something. It's a problem we still have. We need 20 fine wood for this little ditty, right? So check this out. We go to the fine wood chest, and surprise, we still need fine wood. We're at the very end of the game. We're prospering endlessly. Still never have enough fine wood. We have rectified the fine wood situation. So now, we can put in the last piece of kit we'll ever need, baby. And, uh, as that spits that out. Spit it out! One of you spit it out at least. Oh, wait, where did it go? Nah, surely he's got nothing here. Yep, right there. Where are you gonna put it is the question. God only knows where it went. It didn't go in my inventory, that's for sure. Ain't in there, thank goodness. Huh. Well, where did it go? Oh, it went down here. So we got all of our flax brewing up. So we can actually look at recipes for the padded stuff. Oh my god, 20... Okay, so it's actually not that expensive. So with the what we have now, with the flax we have now, we can make the top and the bottom. And by the time we're probably done, we'll be able to make the headpiece. But we cannot forget about the weapon. So we need to make that for our lovely, lovely, lovely axe slot. But no pickaxe, which is strange, but it is what it is. Okay, probably gonna want one of those. Ooh, porcupine. Okay, okay, I see you. Hmm. And we'll go ahead and put all the uh, rest of our ingredients up for a minute. We're gonna go ahead and pave this area back here as well. Because why not? Oh yeah, this. This is what accomplishment looks like. So our base is almost completely done. Believe it or not, very, very, very pleased with what we have done here. I know it seems like uh, like it's been a huge pain in the butt, which it has. It has been a huge pain, but I'm uh, pretty good with it, honestly. So we will use these here lovely instruments to create some railings around this lovely perimeter of ours. Because, you know what? We deserve it. We deserve to outfit this base to the best of our abilities. I'm very, very excited because the island base has basically served its entire purpose to getting us to the end game. And it has done that extraordinarily well. And I'm just super pleased with it. At this at this stage, I'm just, just loving what's going on here. I'm just gonna add these rails in just because, you know, I think a good base deserves appreciation. And I can think of no better way to do that than some actual safety for once. Even though I'm mostly against all things safety, I think that this one is deserved. I would say at this point the base is done, but do we really know that for sure? But yeah, so with that, we can figure out how to make the lox meat pie. See what all we need for that. Ooh, fish wraps. Okay. Compared to the original stats of fish is, wow, surprisingly good. And lox meat pie. Okay, the four barley flour, two meat, and two berries. Good. So blood bags, we will need to hunt us some leeches, it seems. So yeah, lox meat pie, blood pudding, and serpent stew are gonna be our final snack for the last boss. I'm really, really excited about it, honestly. It's It's got me so hyped. And not only that, but we're about to go make our first armor upgrade of the end game, baby. Are y'all ready? I've never actually seen this set on anyone. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. Okay, I see it. Holy crap. That got some coverage on it, don't it? Goodness. Okay, I see you. All right. There's two more armor than our level three silver armor. Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic news? And not only that, we have us a new backup armor set. And I'm, I'm just so pleased with that. What? The amount of iron it takes to upgrade is so little. No. Are you? You're lying to me, aren't you? Oh my god. It's so little. Holy crap. 
What is up with this? I figured the interior armor would be like almost impossible to upgrade, but yet here we are just doing it. Guess let's go have us a snooze and go see if those, maybe those crops are ready. I mean, at this point, we really are just waiting on the end of the game. I guess let's go ahead and make these greaves. I mean, we've got the iron and stuff, so we may as well, yeah. And after that, I don't think we have any need for iron, which I'm not even upset about, honestly. Okay, so we're at 85 before the pants, so let's see where we're at after the pants. 93. God, we are just becoming an impenetrable fortress of danger. Oh man, that just looks dope. Honestly, though. And just to think, like in the last episode where we played, we had like two barley plants, and now we're like booling through this last area of the game. I'm super happy about this. This progress is substantial. Well, I'm gonna finish furnishing out this part of the uh, plains base while we're here, may as well, because uh, we don't have a whole, whole lot left to do as far as progression, at least in this episode, which is good. I'm, I'm actually really proud of that. We've made a lot of progress and come quite a long way, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that W where I can. I mean, there we go. That's the kind of crowd I'm wanting to see. Come here, you. Three damage after you used to do like 20. I'm sorry, what? Let's see what we need to upgrade the shield real quick. We need chains and fine wood and the black metal. Oof. Chains are probably gonna be the handicap on this one, I have a feeling. Maybe not. Maybe it is. It'll probably be the fine wood then if it's not the chains. We may as well upgrade it because we're gonna be using the hell out of that shield, so. Oh, it, no, it's not. It is max quality. Well, I'll be. Well, I guess since we've got the barley, we may as well go make the stew, right? I mean, seems like a decent enough idea. Just start with this. That gives us 10 as a starting point. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, look at it. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. We have the strongest foods in the game now, baby. Look at all this. We're loaded to the teeth, man. It's kind of insane how much food we have now. We have a little Fabio. We're gonna have to deal with some locals. They seem pretty pissed off, but that's okay. What up, boys? How goes it? <clears throat> what the hell just hit me? I, <laughs> like, instantly died. Okay, let me update you on what we found. We got there, as you remember. We got down here. And died. I had to go all the way back. I had to repair my boat because they broke the damn boat. And we had to kill all the fuelings that were down there. There was like 10 of them down there. And then we decided to come back because it was raining down there. What I'm gonna go do is put all the goodies away. We're gonna go check on our crops because by now everything should be ready to go. Get that, get the flax processing, go beat that last fueling base, and then we're gonna call it. Because the only thing that's left is to find the Yaglif stone and to make the meads and prepare for that fight. So I'm gonna harvest this madness while I'm here and then go get this stuff processing, go finish that fueling base, uh, craft up that last bit of armor and weapons, and then we are going to be ready to go find the stone and the next episode and I don't know what it may be the episode where we fight the big bad dad never know may have to go fight a sea serpent or two to get some food but uh yeah shouldn't be too tough to do so with all that out of the way I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll see you guys back at the base well guys I'm not gonna lie to you I made a bit of a boo-boo I planted all flax up here but it did just so happen that that's what ended up going on so I'll have to rectify that later, but now we should have every single piece of flax we ever need. And now we kind of are uh, required in a roundabout way to go do this stuff the way we don't want to do it. So I guess we'll let that stuff do, and we'll go fight the fuelings to get the last bit of flax we need. But after this, something tells me we won't ever need it again, considering we planted almost 100 flax plants. So, you know, the irony is, is that I do this kind of stuff, like I don't ever do it on purpose, it just ends up happening. But it is what it is. I guess if I ever needed flax, I'll have it now. And we'll just leave like 20 of it, but in a 
separate chest just to have it for if we happen to need it when the future updates come out. Oh man, that was a good shot, bro. I don't know why it's running. Take everything you're worth, plus your little totem. Not quite as much flax as I need, but you know, take what little bit we can get here and there. We are five, 10 pounds overweight. I say we just leave the coins, honestly. I think we'll have enough flax to get what we need done and not cry about the rest of it. I guess we'll go ahead and make our last bit of iron armor. I don't remember if it takes 10 or not. It takes 15, which is good. And now we'll upgrade the padded helmet a little bit more. All right, 94 to 100 flat. Now we looking like we're ready. Oh, wow. Dang, Clarence got some new looks, I see. Put all this other extra crap away that we don't need. The locks meat. We'll go ahead and cook that while the rest of that cotton's ginning up. And with that, all right, fellas, we have got us two stacks of locks meat pies. I'm kind of in disbelief that we have this much high level food. We'll have to get the serpent stews, but other than that, I mean, there's not a whole lot left to do. I mean, so we can make, we can make that and that. So we'll make the sword first and see what we need to upgrade it. Oh, it needs linen thread to be upgraded. Well, I'll be, we have so much of this metal. It's kind of insane. But we'll go ahead and make an axe as well, just to uh, replace our other axe. So we can kind of replace Frostnir, at least for basic damage. That means we can put Frostnir up as well as, wow, my, my, we are running out of room. Okay, so we have got us pretty much a full in-game kit of gear, and we still have all this black iron and nothing to do with it. Really, the only handicap that we have right now is just not having enough linen thread to fully upgrade everything, but, you know, I wouldn't call that a bad thing at this point. We've gotten so much done, you know, just in general, that I'm kind of amazed that we've gotten this much done. It's kind of the way things go. You just roll through it. But uh, we've got, got black metal sword, black metal shield axe, all padded gear, upgraded locks cape. So we're doing really good. I mean, we're hitting triple digits with our slash power, which is phenomenal. Okay, fellas. Well, considering everything we've got done today, I think it's time to call it. We've got us full padded gear. We've got us black metal, pretty much everything that we need. And really, the only thing left to do is find the boss summoning stone, get the end, get the end game foods that we need, more namely serpent stew, and uh, get that fire resistance mead. And well, I guess find the boss and kick his butt, and then we're good. We can build the final base. And then we'll have to wait for updates. So with all that said, I'll see you guys 
in the next video. Peace!